Hello YouTube, this is Buck. Today we're gonna install Pear Linux on a tablet. And you cannot do this on any tablet that you just buy, uh, you know, uh, some Android tablet. No, you can only do this on tablets that can also run Windows 7. So if you buy, let's say, an Acer Econia, you know, I saw one the other day at Norad, a computer shop here in my city, you know, and that one you can install Pear Linux on as well. So how to install it? Well, you of course see that there's no external CD-ROM player. Of course, you can connect one. If you have an external DVD player, you can, you know, burn the CD or the DVD and then boot up from the DVD and install it to your tablet. Uh, you will also need a keyboard because you will need to type certain things and I'm not sure if there is a keyboard inserted in the thing already. So, you know, uh, on the side they said it was also working for tablets so I have this tablet up here it's the few Sonic, few Sonic few pet 10 it's been uh, the star in many videos uh, also installed uh, Mint Linux uh, as the first one worldwide this was the first uh, Linux tablet worldwide you know um, at least on YouTube showing Linux running really good including the touchscreen everything was working that while Ubuntu was having a real hard time to let this uh, tablet do whatever it had to do so Mint Linux was the first that you know let this tablet run uh, Linux in a very beautiful way so thumbs up for Mint Linux but these days today today is November 2013 yeah almost the end of the month and yeah it's the 27th uh, as a matter of fact today and um, today things has changed a bit because we got a new operating system it's called Pear Linux and these guys are really developing you know it's version 8 and soon it's gonna be Pear OS 10 you know OS X so I'm really waiting for the <laughs> for the you know for the updates to come until we're up there so that's really really cool um, and what is the most beautiful thing of this operating system well it just looks like the Mac OS X operating system in many ways and um, you also have the left uh, uh, close buttons you know in the, if you have a window that you must close it at the left time at the left instead of the right you know the taskbar is on top so you know it's a real beautiful system that you know everyone can use because you know if you installed it you can immediately watch YouTube immediately watch Outstanding Gemist, RTL Plus all these things codecs are immediately installed if you select it at, a, at the install to also install third uh, party software as you could see in my previous video how to install Pear OS uh, onto a laptop or a tablet whatever so now I'm gonna do the tablet version we're gonna boot up first thing you have to do is create a bootable USB stick and how to do that well you need power ISO to do that so you know there are also other programs but I do it always with power ISO and then uh, version 4.7 would do just fine so get the old version because I already told you there's a lot of spyware in power ESO that wants to be installed if you use the program so sad okay but no more words about that uh, we're gonna install now so we need uh, to turn on the laptop the tablet and we need to find uh, how to get into the boot menu and most of the times it's F12 F11 you see We need to hit Dell on the keyboard to get into the BIOS. I inserted the password. So I'm putting in the password now. And now I'm in the BIOS. So and up here we will have to go to boot. You see certain things there? You see boot. You see that boot? We go up there. We go to boot and then we say hard disk drives there are two and we're gonna select the first one and then press enter and select the USB so it become it comes on top 
and then hard disk device priority the first one will then be uh, the first to start up so now we just hit F10 we save the process the settings and we just hit enter and my mouse is sometimes I have to reinsert the keyboard so now we're gonna see if we can uh, we're gonna boot the system the live system now it's checking the screen and there you go pair OS is starting up and this is the 32-bit uh, version and uh, the processor that we have in this thing is an Anthem processor uh, I cannot tell you the model exactly because uh, I forgot but um, we will see that as soon as this is uh, installed so first we're gonna start the up to see uh, if everything works you know if we can also have if we have touch screen because if we don't have a touch screen then it's useless to uh, to use this we need a touch screen we need a nice keyboard when we want to type something everything should be in there because we did it before with um, with Mint Linux and you can see the mouse is working peeps you see that mouse is working starting stopping okay and there she is wow look at that you just hit live session wow <clears throat> and the thing is not installed yet huh? and then we sign in and you won't hear any sound or whatsoever so there she is peep peeps we just hit next 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 and then quit let's see if the Wi-Fi works that is the most important thing the Wi-Fi is the Wi-Fi working do we have Wi-Fi stations see anything yet don't worry with the language support man I want to see if I have Wi-Fi we have Wi-Fi peeps hey we have Wi-Fi oh go away I don't want this now because I'm not locked in as an administrator so I will not be able to Wi-Fi authentication so and we're connecting and we're connected to Wi-Fi there you go so installing won't be so hard we just hit uh, install pair and it looks outstanding peeps everything works everything works see that look at that boy so we're gonna install English you can see that we can do it fully touch we will select uh, to install the whole uh, to make this to make this appear laptop don't forget to hear I don't know if you can read it if you want everything to play out of the box for my Nederlandse mensen, als je wil dat uitzending gemist en zo het gaat doen, moet je dit aanklikken. Install uh, third-party software en install updates while downloading. Want we zijn toch aangesloten op het internet, dus ja, dat kan hartstikke makkelijk. I will not uh, show you about the system now. I could, but it will use. Uh, the stick for more uh, information you know so we will not do that we will just let this go on and when this is done I'll get back to you at the next step oh there we are already uh, install pair alongside Debian no replace Debian with pair so there we go and we have 16 gigabytes install now so this will also be a nice uh, little tablet to do uh, some yeah some stuff I just have to see if it goes to sleep if it can wake up uh, easily again 
because I have that problem with my uh, other uh, machine so I'm gonna make a review about that one that's the cloned uh, MacBook and the cloned MacBook is also running paired at this moment it really looks like a beautiful outstanding uh, up here you must see if everything works you see that everything works eh? so that's cool then we go next just hit continue uh, tap continue this is a fully touched installation I'm so proud of these guys eh? I really think they did a good job up here we will call this uh, the view view pad and the name will be view pad 10 and my name and the password don't forget if you are on a tablet to select log in automatically you can see it here log in automatically okay and then hit next so it's copying the files well you don't have to look at the copying of these files I'll get back to you after the reboot okay dear friends as you can see the install is done so we're gonna restart now and we will come to a screen that will tell us that we can remove the USB stick and then uh, it's installed and then you can uh, yeah <laughs> you can probably use the tablet without without uh, how you call it without the keyboard as you could see the uh, the the installation was fully touchscreen. Everything worked. I really love this colorful uh, Pear OS logo. I love this uh, way it works. I love everything. Please remove the media. Oh, it was already there. I never saw it. And now we're gonna see a real time boot of this baby. View Sonic View Pad 10 and we just hit enter reboot and select oh of course so we must go to the bias first we hit Dell for this tablet it's Dell to run the setup to ask me for the password and there we are and we go to boot and we set our hard disk back to uh, the first drive will be the SATA disk and then we hit F10 and we hit OK and then we are done so it's installed on the tablet now and now you will see a real-time boot you see I can just hit enter this is the only tablet that you can hit enter when it asks for password and you just bypass the whole password <laughs> see that that's uh yeah it's not a hack it's a failure of the few 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 pet 10 uh, bias but I don't care about that it's okay because most people when they see that that they must pass, type a password they will try to type a password but, but it will be always wrong they will not think that you can just hit enter and then you know get into the system so there we are uh, my friends there she is and we just hit the 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 dum dum exito and there we are she's installed on the tablet and do we have I don't know if we have um, oh it's getting some updates but this is how to install it peeps um, everything uh, works of course really fast now uh, yeah everything is just uh, really good but we have no keyboard yet I think so because this keyboard is still connected so I'm gonna see how to do that but uh, you must see it this way you can um, probably just use uh, a keyboard that you can a desktop keyboard that you can download from out uh, the app store and then 
you can uh, install then it needs my password I think there you go and we authenticate and we are not in and if you get this problem you can also try to FN and then uh, numlock and then do your password again because probably something went wrong with the keyboard go away man I don't need this quit so let's see if something went wrong with the keyboard because I was typing my password so here a s I cannot type a s Okay, everything works now so now it's good because you need you need to have the keyboard uh, set good because if you go to the app store here to the peer software center then you must log in with your password and if that doesn't match uh, what you're typing and with my uh, other uh, cloned MacBook I must when I log in first hit the FN and then the uh, the, the the num lock because some way if I don't do that then it's typing nonsense it's not showing what I should what it should show and here you can see um, this is really cool I don't uh, have to touch the side here to scroll I can just like scroll like this that is really cool this is really cool and we need a keyboard keyboard let's see if it has a keyboard for us um, rock out with your keyboard tux paint how you call a thing like that uh, desktop uh, keyboard Well, I must see how that works. Probably when I remove the USB, I will get a... No? Well, I will have to see how to do that. But um, we will have to get a, a little uh, desktop keyboard. <laughs> Maybe I'm not uh, searching on the right name what I should uh, search for, but uh, I'm sure it will be up there. Anyway peeps, uh, this was how to install Pear OS on a tablet. I'm really happy it looks uh, outstanding and uh, this tablet, you know, uh, will not run any other version of Linux. It's gonna run uh, Pear OS because I really have the feeling uh, using a MacBook at this moment. Look at these folders, everything. I think every Mac user is gonna be like really happy uh, having this system uh, yeah with them and enjoying the power of Linux and the power of course of our friends from um, from Pear Linux all you up there if you think this video was cool hit it like and of course subscribe to my channel until my next video and uh, to all my friends uh, working on the Pear Linux uh, project can't wait for Pear Linux 10 then we can call this Pear OS 10 Bye now.